we want drops on the top and minutes on the bottom. But either way, this one is, it's volume over time. All right. So the goal is asking you for volume over time, right? What is your volume that's in the problem? Y'all 500, right? What is your infusion time? The time they want to infuse it over. Over, over two hours. <laughs> okay. All right. So this right here, this little buddy right here, you're like, well, what do I do with that? Nothing. It's fluff. It's fluff, 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 fluff. You don't need it because that 12,500, well, 12, <laughs> whoa. 1,250 milligrams is floating around in that 500 milliliters. So when you give that 500 milliliters of normal saline, guess what else is going to go in the patient's veins? This. Did the goal ask you about grams, milligrams, micrograms? No, it's fluff. Okay. We want volume over time. So now we got a drop factor of 10. And your drop factor is always going to be drops per milliliter. So 10 drops per ml. Now we have milliliters on the bottom. So I need milliliters at the top. <coughs> 500 milliliters over two hours. Milliliters cancels out. And am I finished yet? No, because my puzzle does not look like the picture on the box, which is the goal, right? We've got drops on the top. But we need minutes on the bottom. I have hours. So my last step would be one hour equals 60 minutes. So you cancel it out and everything is gone except for drops on the top and minutes on the bottom. Puzzle complete. Now you can do the math. So 10 times 500 divided by 2 divided by 60 which would be 41.6 repeating. So with a drop, you can't divide a drop by um, <laughs> anything. It's either a whole drop or it's not a drop at all, right? So therefore, we'll have to round it to the nearest whole number. So our answer will be 42 drops per minute.